Splenda, Equal, and Sweet and Low. What's the difference between these three artificial sweeteners? Splenda, the yellow packet, Equal, the blue packet, and Sweet and Low, the pink packet. What's the difference between these three artificial sweeteners? The first two am I. I'm Ben Saldo, um, a personal trainer and online educator on fitness. I make videos like the one you're watching right now. And today I'm gonna to be evaluating these different artificial sweeteners, which are commonly handed out, you know, after dinner when they give you a cup of coffee or when you get coffee at 7-Eleven and they have all the different options sitting there next to the sugar packets. We're gonna be evaluating them on six different criteria. At the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my choice on which one I choose whenever I'm baking or making coffee or putting them in anything I wanna make sweet. First, we have base, right? What's the base ingredient? In Splenda, it's sucralose, and equal to aspartame, and sweet and low it's saccharin. Now, this might not mean much to you, but if you're ever reading the ingredient on something like a Diet Coke or a brownie mix, sugar-free brownie mix, and you see these words on there, just know that they're correlated to these brand names, right? Now, when it comes to sweetness, Splenda is 600 times sweeter than sugar. Equal is 200 times sweeter and sweet and low is 400 times sweeter. And you may wonder how come when I open a packet of Splenda, the same amount of, you know, white powder or what looks like sugar comes out of it as when I open a sugar packet, it's 600 times sweeter. Shouldn't only one 600th of the amount come out? But the reason it doesn't do that is because they cut sucralose or aspartame, or saccharin, whatever the key ingredient is, they cut it with bulking agents so that when you pour out the packet, it doesn't look like you got gypped, right? And that's why when it comes to calories, they all have essentially zero because they do have very minute amount of calories, right? Maybe like four in Splenda, two in a packet of Equal, right? But Sweet and Low actually has zero because of the way it's like chemically constructed. Um, the bulking agents that they can use are actually also zero calorie. And uh, just to put that in context, when I say this has four calories, this has two, compared to a packet of sugar or a teaspoon of sugar, that typically has 16 calories. So it's definitely a big difference. And when you're adding packets and packets, or when you're choosing a diet soda over a normal soda, it definitely adds up. Now, when it comes to taste, Splenda is the most similar to sugar. It's the most natural tasting, personally, I like it the best. If I'm making chocolate at home, I'll use Splenda. If I'm having a coffee, it's the one I'll choose based on taste, right? But Equal and Sweet and Low both have aftertaste. Now with Equal, it's negligible. You won't really notice unless you're looking out for it. But with Sweet and Low, it does have a noticeable aftertaste. Now, it's a bit sour, so if you're making something like lemonade, I'd use saccharin. I'd use Sweet and Low, definitely. I mean that sour taste adds to it. You know, it's almost like Sour Patch Kid. And um, when it comes to heat stability, Splenda and Saccharin, Splenda and Sweet and Low, Sucralose, these two, you could use them when baking. They're heat stable. But Aspartame on the other hand, it's not. It's unstable when it's exposed to really high heats. And it'll lose its sweetness when you're baking. And your brownies are going to come out and you're going to bite into them. They're going to taste bitter and they're going to suck. And you're going to go, man, Big Ben on YouTube was right. I shouldn't use aspartame in my brownie recipe. And finally, what you guys probably all care about the most, what you clicked on this video for, is health concerns, right? Is Splenda bad for your gut? Is Equal bad for your brain? Does Sweet and Low cause cancer? Well, Splenda, some research has came out that it may be bad for your gut. It may um, be bad for your GI tract. It may be bad for the bacteria in your gut, the good bacteria, the probiotics, right? But this research was only done in rats. No research has came out on humans yet that proves that sucralose is bad for your gut. And unless you're a rat, I mean, I consume it. I don't think that something... Also, it's worth mentioning that the research they did where they gave these rats sucralose, they gave them an enormous amount. Something that if you compared our weight... There's no way we'd be able to, to consume that much as a human. It's just impossible. Now, aspartame, the research is conclusive that it can cause neurological damage, which is why I choose to stay away from aspartame. Bad for your brain. It crosses over the blood-brain barrier. 
and uh, not good, not good stuff. Now, sweet and low we often hear causes cancer, right? Well, wrong. This was based on one study in the 1970s, also only done on rats, and they've never been able to replicate this research. So I would say that sweet and low definitely doesn't cause cancer. Splenda definitely does not cause cancer. And personally, when I have the choice, I always choose Splenda. This is my favorite. Then Sweet and Low. Then Aspartame are equal. And um, there's nothing else available. Just stay away from it, man. You don't need the sugar. Come on now. I'm Vince Caldo. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video valuable, send it to someone you know.